Alright, so uh, looks like we're starting out with a level that you definitely don't want to do with Small Mario. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, these players are going to have to go through... Uh, I, w I, would, I would call this a gauntlet again uh, of enemies that uh, you would normally be able to fly over. So let's see how they go through this. Um, not much of a problem for late learners so far. Uh, I haven't seen any sharks yet, and he was able to grab the bell in the middle, so not too big of an issue. Uh, Rave also grabbed it. Mal grabbed it, and uh, Beast is about to grab it. So. Looks pretty good so far. Um, the absence of sharks is... Okay, so there is a shark uh, for Mal. Wait, one. And multiple sharks. Okay. The big thing about sharks is, of course, they're scary and they take up a lot of space, and they're liable to hit you because they swim fairly quickly. Just like that shark just swam at Mal and Baylor. So unfortunately, they're going to have to deal with that. Um, Rave trying to get over this shark, not going to be the easiest thing in the world. God, this is tough, man. I'm going to say right now, I, I, I'm glad I'm not in this situation. But Beast does get through, so once again, Beast is in the lead, heads into the fireplace level, really comfy level. Alright, and Rave and Mal both have the star, which offers them so much protection that they so, they so need, and allows them to advance onto Tree Zone 1. And as an aside, Mal Mal's feet is driving me nuts. I, I appreciate him giving this um, palette its day in the sun, but honestly, ple please don't use this palette. Alright, so, um, Beast has a fire flower up there they can grab. He must try to get up and grab that. There we go. So we just need to make make up make it up this chimney here. Uh, without hitting the two enemies here, we have one B, and we have a Goomba. Unfortunately, we did hit the Goomba, so we did lose that one power up. Late learner's still trying to get through this level, uh, but he does have the star now, so he should be all set. So Mal gets through there, and Rave right behind him, so get hit by the Goomba, there we go. And Beast is in this moon level, which means he has two exits. So our first lottery of the randomizer, we'll see how that fares. Alright, so Beast does grab the uh, bell here. He is going to take the bottom exit, it looks like. Hopefully that works out for him. Unfortunately, it is the top exit for the moon level, so um, Rave hopefully takes the top exit and gains the lead over Beast. I'm not, I'm not saying that I prefer one runner over the other, I just like to see lead changes. It's a nice thing. Alright, so uh, these depths here um, are most likely intentional. Once you take a bell on the level, you can just die and respawn at that bell and decide what exit you want to go to. So when you saw Rave die, when you saw Mal die, it's mostly just them deciding what they want. Alright, so Mal taking the bottom exit. Looks like... What is Rave going to do here? Okay, so Rave is going to try to take that top exit. You can see, though, with all the sprites on the screen, there is a lot of lag there. And that is unfortunate, but... Uh, the fortunate part of this is Rave is taking the correct exit, so he'll get ahead here, um, but he 
is still slightly behind because Beast is going to take that exit in a matter of seconds. In the meantime, we see now here uh, in the gears level of uh, of Mario Zone, uh, and Late Learner actually is in Turtle Zone, and he took a wrong exit as well. So looks like we actually have a route diver divergence here, which we don't. We didn't see last run, so this is this makes things a little bit more interesting and also a little bit tougher for me to commentate, but I'll try my best just to keep me on my toes, guys, and, and mess up something. Alright, so what Mal decided to do there is he actually decided to go through the, um, uh, the hidden level, hidden level, alternative level, whatever you want to call it, uh, to get a power-up. But uh, he's going to go back through here and um, hopefully take that top exit. While Late Winner goes through uh, what is part of Pumpkin Zone, a uh, pretty easy level. However, as Small Mario, you have to be careful about one thing here, and that is a super jump over a pipe, which he may or may not do. He may just take it easy here, and he does, so I just take it easy. Alright, grabs that bell. So there are two exits in the level that Late Learner is on right now. He can only take one of them, because... <laughs> and unfortunately he couldn't grab that mushroom. So the upper exit requires you to, uh, to have a carrot. Uh, the lower level you, you can get any time, and he will be taking that, and also be taking the bell, so he can get himself an upgrade. In the process I do. Alright, so in the meantime, Beast and Rave both in the final... Oh my god. So Rave did fall down there, unfortunately. Both in the final level of Tree Zone. Late Learner in the final level of um, Turtle Zone, unfortunately the physics are a little bit abnormal, um, which isn't nice for the boss fight, I can tell you that. Alright, so Rave in the bird fight, he is small Mario, they'll have to be somewhat cautious here, just make sure he does not get hit. And looks good, so he will be the first one, I believe, with a golden coin. In the meantime, I'm going to be very close behind him. And there we go, the golden coin for Rave and Beast uh, will have a very easy fight. Alright, so Late Learner at the Octopus fight. Um, Due to the physics, yeah, it's kind of awkward. That's why he turned into um, Big Mario there. But uh, makes it through without any issue. And he will have the opposite golden coin as he is going in the opposite direction. Uh, so we'll have a bunch of levels revealed to us um, prematurely, basically, in relation to the other runners. Okay, so unfortunately, Rave and Beast already have to do Submarine, which uh, if you saw the last run, you s you would have seen that uh, there are two there are two exits for Submarine. There is the Gauntlet, which you can see Beast is going into right now, and Rave is going through, and there is the further exit, um, which is usually a bit easier to get to, but a lot slower. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like uh, Ray chose the wrong exit, so he will have to go uh, back. Alright, so um, Ray doesn't have to take the far exit, and uh, Beast, it looks like, is automatically going to the far exit, so I think Beast is probably going to take the leading exit, while Mal does the bird fight with fireballs, very easy, once again, gets his first golden.
late learner heading into the bonus area here just to grab a power up. I'm sure the carrot will prove to be useful. Now heading back into the submarine, and uh, we see that Rave is making his way up these stairs here. This is kind of a tough area, but he did use that shell to his advantage. Uh, those sharks can be annoying, but uh, no worries once you have that shell. Alright, so uh, Rave, Mal, and Beast all in submarine. All heading for that far right exit. Meanwhile, Late Learner is heading upward here, avoids grabbing that Fire Flower, because you do want to fly, fly over this portion anyway. So. Um, the Fire Flower is, of course, useful for boss fights, but who knows if it's useful for the levels coming ahead. Alright, so this is a short space level for Late Learner. Uh, not much to be done here, you pretty much go straight to the exit. Very simple level. Rave gets through and gets a macro level, uh, two exits once again, so uh, depending on if he can get a Fire Flower here, he'll have the ability to take either the top or the bottom. If he can't get the Fire Flower, he can only take the bottom exit. Oh, and unfortunately he dies just by a small amount, so we'll have to go back in. Alright, so Mal uh, making his way out of Submarine, and uh, Beast right next to him, so both of these guys uh, pretty much heading into the next level side by side. Uh, while Late Leonard gets to basically the end of the Piggy level, so he will have his second golden coin before anyone else does. So yes, I do believe they have all the randomizers settings set on. Um, Slash may be able to speak to that better than I can, because I believe he set the uh, configuration for these runs. Alright, so with normal physics and with Fireball, the piggy fight is quite easy. Late Leonard gets through it without any issues, and he should be in the lead at this point. Alright, so Rave getting to the end here. We'll see if this is a bottom exit or a top exit level. And unfortunately, it is a top exit level, so they will have to get Fire Flower for this. Meanwhile, Late Learner going through another pretty simple level. Um, hasn't had too many issues so far. Uh, the route he's taking is probably going to give him a lot more issues later in the run than earlier. Uh, that's just a guess. The next level could be a really bad one. We, we don't really know. It's the genius of randomizers, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what Ross gets. Um, so, he is now uh, in what is normally tree 2, and that has two exits, so we'll see if he takes the top or the bottom and which one benefits him. And yes, the, hi the, hippo exit, the hippo level does have two exits. Um, So he's going to need a power-up here, and that's what he wanted. Uh, Late Learner getting the carrot, which he wants to get through this area and get up to that top exit. Now finishing the auto-scroller, and he'll head back into uh, this macro level. Uh, Rave unfortunately dying to that ant. So, he'll have to go through again. They're taking the wrong exits. 
so he'll have to go back. Uh, I'm not sure if there's too much he can do here. It depends on what kind of power-ups he gets. He decides to reset anyway. So he'll go back into... Um, what level was he on? Let's see. Oh, right. Okay, so he was on tree 2, and uh, he wants to take a bottom exit. He'll just most likely need... Um, a... Well, he'll need some kind of power-up to get through there, because he does need to get over a area full of spikes, so... We'll see what he gets in terms of power-ups here. So he'll take this bell, um, he's gonna grab... Okay, he's gonna grab the fire flower here, that should be enough to get through. Um, so he's gonna go up and then down. So you can head up towards this top exit, and then just head down towards the bottom exit. Exactly what he's gonna do. Uh, meanwhile, Rave is on the auto-scroller. Uh, Beast is making his way through this level. He needs to get up top, so he does have the fireball now, which makes things easy. Or makes things possible, I should say. Uh, Mal, in a very interesting level, this is... Normally, an auto-scroller, which has space physics. And now, it's not an auto-scroller with normal physics. So he will need some kind of power-up to get through this level. It's really the only way. Alright, so we see Beast doing the same thing that Mal was doing. Um, He's getting past these stars here, but I think he has one more section where he's going to need a power-up. Let's see. Alright, so unfortunately he just gets that. He did get the bell, though, which makes things easy, but he needs to... He needs to get this other power-up up here. Hopefully this is something of value. And it's money bags, so I don't really know what his options are here. Alright, so I suppose he can go back into this level, try to get a fire power up, and then go back into space 2 and finish up. Unfortunately, I believe he will still need to use Space 2 Tatanga um, as Small Mario. So yeah, he just is going to go through these stars here. No power-up, only money bags. So unfortunately, Tatanga, not the most fun fight with Small Mario, but still pretty easy. So he should get through without any issues. I'm... I'm just full of curses today. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just cursing everything. I'm sorry, Beast. He'll get through no issues next time. Alright, so Rave doing the same thing here. He's going to get power up in the previous level and uh, go through the same path that Beast went through. Meantime, uh, Late Learner heading into the last area of, of the last zone. Sorry, last, yeah, the last zone of Pumpkin Zone. You know what I'm talking about. So, anyway, uh, he'll be in the Witch Fight soon enough and he'll get his third goal. So Mal getting a hit in on Tatanga there. We can see that Raid and Mal are both on Tatanga, very close to each other. Raid just needs one more hit. It, it, it's tough with how Tatanga shoots out these um, this arsenal of ammo, and Raid makes it. Nice. Okay, so Raid and Mal very close to each other here. He's coming into the fight now, and uh, these three runners are basically all neck and neck. 
which is uh, pretty awesome to see, uh, especially since the late runner is taking a different route. So we have these three runners taking basically the same route, all right next to each other, and late runner going in the opposite direction. This is a really interesting, uh, really interesting race so far. I have no idea where Odir is, unfortunately. Alright, so an easy level for Mal here, an easy level for Raid, just floating through. Not much to do. Uh, Late Learner is going to jump in and take the same level, so they are meeting up now. This is where the paths converge, and everyone is basically going to be on the same level at once. So once again, this is a level with two exits. Uh, I would guess that most people will take the top exit. Uh, looks like Rave is going to take the uh, item game. Alright, nice. So um, Mal does take the shorter path theoretically if he gets good levels. Uh, this level is not something I'm a big fan of, as I said in the previous run. Um, a lot of bees, a lot of caterpillars with spiky things on them, and a lot of nonsense. And sometimes a lot of lag as well. And you can see already Mal is having a little bit of an issue getting through here. And so Ogier just entered Pumpkin 2. Uh, we'll see his results as they unfold. Uh, we won't see them, per se. Sorry. So, um, all runners are on the same level now. Mal unfortunately dies to that B. As I said previously, this is not the most fun level to go. Alright, so Rave does get this uh, upgrade to Fire Mario here. Very important. Uh, hopefully everyone else gets the same upgrade. Yep, Beast goes very well. Uh, late learner already has it, so he's in good shape. And there we go. Uh, Late Learner is the first one to finish this level. Uh, Rave going for the item game. Yeah. And so Late Learner looks like it will be, he'll, he will be the first one to four golden coins here. Nothing too interesting about this level. It's a pretty normal version of, uh, of the final macro level. Alright, so uh, Late Learner in the rat fight right now with fire. It's very easy. Jump forward slightly, spam fire button. And uh, Late Learner actually opts to jump straight up, which uh, makes the fight easy. There's less of a chance of the rat hitting you, so I, uh, I totally go for that. Uh, Rave and Beast basically almost in the same frame. No, I lied. They're, they're going to be Alright, so uh, three coins for Rave and Beast. They will be heading into the next area. In the meantime, Late Learner going through Submarine. We already know that it's a far right exit, not the Gauntlet, but we'll see what he chooses to do. So unfortunately, he will be going through the Gauntlet, which will not spit him out in the area. Uh, which will cost him some time, and um, I believe Oh Dear may have the lead even though he's not on screen. So, if Late Learner does have some significant trouble with Gauntlet here, it's going to cost him a, a pretty big amount of time. Um, and the other runners may be able to catch up.
And so now taking it easy here, just trying There's to get through this section. <laughs> a little bit treacherous. Alright, so the rat fight for Mal. Uh, in the meantime, Raven Beast built in the um, Tree Zone 2 level. Rave taking the bottom exit, putting him in the right, in the right, um, the right level. So he'll go through this. Ooh, okay. Get shrunken down to large Mario, uh, and we'll see how that affects the rest of the level. There are two exits in this level as well for Rave. So heading up into this pipe room, we have bunny ears. Useful, but not the best item to have here. You probably want that, Fire Flower, if you want to take the lower exit. If he wants to take the higher exit, no issue. He can stick with the bunny ears, which it looks like he's going to do. Alright, so Late Learner sees this Fire Flower up there that he wants so badly, and he actually avoids it. You can get up there, we saw the other runners get up there, jumping up the blocks, but he will forego it. Has to be careful here, there's a Flying Goomba. Alright, gets through that area, so he will advance. Uh, in the meantime, now getting through the halfway point, grabbing a Fire Flower, and uh, Rave getting close to the Witch Fight. He might check his power up to see what it is. No, he doesn't. That's fine. Alright, so Late Learner now on the space level. Uh, I believe we already saw that it's the top exit. Unless my memory deceives me. Alright, looks like we're switching over to Oh Dear on the bottom left, so we'll see what's going on with him. Um, not sure what route he took, I'm guessing he went in uh, the normal any percent fashion of Treason first, so if that is true, he is probably very close, if not in the lead, with uh, Late Learner. Alright, so Rave now with four golden coins. Deer should have five golden coins very shortly. You can see that Mal is grabbing that fire flower there, so he will probably go for the well no. Okay. Alright, he avoided that, um, that ghost there, which is good. Uh, so he may go for the lower path here. He does have fireball. And he does decide to do that. Oh, unfortunately, that is not going to work. Um, I believe he- wait, maybe he doesn't. Does he need a fireball? I'm sorry. I think he needs a fireball for these blocks, but... It may just be breakable by a large mine. You need to be really careful about the ghost, the ghost here, though. Alright. No, he does... Oh yeah, that, that's right. He can do the spin jumps, okay. Alright, so, uh... I believe he wanted to take the upper path anyway, because this is putting him out in the middle of nowhere, unfortunately, so we will have to redo that level. Uh, meanwhile, we see Oh Dear in one of the simpler levels with a bunch of Koopas, and uh, Late Learner in um, Tree 4, Tree 5, I guess. Um, so he will be getting the bird fight pretty soon, just needs to get over a bunch of obstacles here.
All right, so I'm now going through uh, the stairs area here. Always, always a bit of a tough area. Um, gets through fairly well. Only, only gets hit once, so he's still in good shape. All right, so he'll be redoing this level and going to the top exit. Uh, meanwhile, Rave making his way through this Mario Zone level. Uh, unfortunately, he does not have uh, ears here, so he's going to ring that bell, play the game, try to get some kind of power up here. Oh, and unfortunately, Mal died to that to that ghost, so uh, he'll have to start again on that level. Uh, Late Learner takes down the bird and gets his fifth golden coin. He's in good shape. Meanwhile, Deer in this pretty tough level due to the physics, where he is getting money bags, unfortunately, instead of the power up that he wants, which is fireballs. This area does not seem fun considering physics, but he's making it through just fine so far. Let's see what's at this last power up block here. It is money bags again, so fortunately he will need to do the boss without Fireball. Brave in the meantime getting close to the piggy fight. And late learner in submarine. Alright, so Oh Deer makes it out as small Mario. Gets his sixth golden coin? Is that true? Yeah, he's got all six. So, oh dear, with a pretty significant lead at this point. Um, we'll see what Castle has in store for him. Keep in mind that Castle can be pretty rough in hard mode. Alright, Rave following up with a boss kill, getting his fifth golden coin. And the problem with that bullet build there that they were just went through is even if you kill it, that other one respawns too quickly, so you can't really get past it. You, know, you kind of just need to give in and uh, lose your power. Okay, so, so Rando has two different um, modes, I guess you want to call them. Uh, it has easy mode and hard mode. Uh, hard mode randomizes... Uh, with, with hard mode, the randomizer will actually give you more differences in terms of uh, physics, auto-scrolling, and uh, enemy placements. Uh, to the benefit of Odeer, though, there is no physics changes. You can see that he's struggling a bit, but uh, at the very least, he doesn't have to deal with something crazy like moon physics, which is very unfortunate, uh, in my opinion. Those big fireballs, though, are nasty. Like, they're all over the place. Like, look at this. This is, uh, this is not fun. This is evil. So once again, he needs to get through this area of big fireball, so be really careful. Oh my god! Alright, looks like he got through. Okay. Just need to be cautious about this first spiky ball. And he should be in good shape. Alright, excellent. Not the easiest room with all those large fireballs from the little small points. Alright, so we are on floor 2 now of the castle for Odeer. Uh, looks like Late Learner is just finishing up this level, taking the top exit. And fortunately, that leads him to the destination he wants, but this is not fun. Because he needs to do this level. That we've seen other runners do so far without uh, the space physics and without the auto scrum. Alright, so now playing the item game, grabs 
a three up, which he probably did not want. Deer looking pretty good here. Just need to make sure these platforms are good to him, and they are. Uh, unfortunately, he is small Mario. He will have to be a little bit cautious in the following few rooms. Uh, he cannot spin jump. All of these guys are going to take two hits. Very nicely done on that second room. So one more, and then hopefully the power-up is kind to him in the following room. Let's see what he gets. Hopefully not, not money bags, and it's a star, which is just as useless. Alright, so he has to be kind of cautious with these Wario fights. Does go for the power-up, and that's excellent. So he's in good shape now. Just kind of hangs up there in the air and uh, kills Wario 2 with no issues. Uh, Wario 3 is going to be pretty simple for him. And there is the third hit. Oh dear, finishes in official SRL time. 36-32. GG, grats, oh dear, on hit victory. In the meantime, we see Rave taking down the octopus. And he has gotten his sixth coin, so he'll be entering castle very soon um, while we wait for Mom to get through uh, the level and kill these three pigs. Alright, so switching off to Beast, we see that Beast is in um, Turtle Zone 3, about to kill the Octopus boss, and uh, he should be getting his sixth golden coin as well, and heading into castle. Alright, so Rave will find out that he has quite a job to do here, getting past these large fireballs. Let's see how he handles it. Wow, that was, uh, that was pretty impressive. Alright, gets through room one, first try. Awesome job, Rave. Uh, so he should be good to go for the time being, unless the platform is getting some issues. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Mal getting his fifth coin, and Beast heading into Castle while uh, Late Learner goes up against the Tonga here. Okay, so Beast gets through as well. Oh no, but he gets hit by the ball! Alright, so what else do we have here? Uh, Rave getting through uh, this top room of the castle. He should be done very shortly. Uh, Beast hopefully makes it through this little gauntlet of fireballs. He looks to be pretty good, just needs to jump over this one enemy. And he is good. He is done with the first level. So one more hit on Tatanga here for Late Runner, and he should be done. There we go. Unfortunately, he is small Mario, but uh, he should be able to get through this. Alright, so Rave now on Wario 1. Just needs to be careful not to get hit, and he's in good shape. So he can get the power up, and uh, he should be finishing very soon. In 
time, late learner getting um, the sixth coin. Uh, Mal unfortunately fell down a pipe, so he needs to make his way back up. This is a this is a real nuisance area if you do fall down. Oh, sorry, not pipe. Um, <laughs> this is a different. I'm confusing myself. Alright, and there's Rave coming in second place with a SRL time of 40-24. Congratulations to Rave. Uh, Beast unfortunately getting hit there, so he will have to start over again in the castle. Alright, so our remaining three runners, let's see what we have here. We have Mal trying to get him trying to get himself through um, the last area of Turtle Zone. Um, Rave taking a break, it looks like. Not really sure. Oh wait, Rave is done. Yeah. Sorry. Don't don't mind me, I'm just commentating this. Um, Beast getting through the first level he should be good here. Alright, so he'll go up to level 2 again of the castle. Uh, late learner of unfortunately getting hit there. These uh, these large fireballs are nothing to be ashamed of getting hit by. Uh, I would be having so much trouble here. Alright, so Beast looking good. Octopus fight for Mal, and unfortunately he gets hit. I never did like this fight with these physics and with Small Mario. It's, uh, it's definitely iffy. Um, not an easy level, not an easy fight, and uh, with that color palette, I can say that uh, you know it just feels like everything. Um, he'll uh, he'll persevere through this. All right, so. Late learner once again getting hit by that fireball, trying to make his way through. Hopefully he'll get through that that first level soon. Uh, in the meantime, Beast uh, needs to kill these guys. To get to Wario one. Very close. Just needs two more hits here. One and two. He is good. One hit, two hits, and three hits. Beast is all set for Wario 1. He will grab the power up, and this will make his next two fights fairly easy. So, I believe Beast should have this in the bag. Please, no commentator's curse. I've had enough of that tonight. Alright, so as Big Mario, I don't think I'll have any issues. In the meantime, Late Learner going for the game, uh, getting himself a Fire Flower, and Beast finishes in third place with an official SRL time of 43-53. GG to Beast. And now there are two runners left, so let's see how Mal fares here against the Octopus Mario. Be very cautious here. All right, excellent. So that is coin number six for Mal. He will head over to Castle. Uh, Late learner just going back once again. Get some power ups. Unfortunately getting a 1-up, which he does not want. So one of the things that you can do in um, Super Mario Land 2 is you can actually reset the game when you know you're about to die, or, you know, right before you actually get the game over screen. And uh, that allows you to continue without any, um, without worrying about losing coins or anything. So, 
Um, one ups, three ups, five ups, whatever. Lives are not all that useful because of the reset functionality. Uh, you really do just want to get power ups like Fireball or um, Carrot. Now, unfortunately, getting the Witch, which is the worst of all. And then a 1-up after that. So, with 13 coins, he doesn't have much of an option here. Pretty much just has to go straight in the castle and do it as Small Mario. Meanwhile, Late Learner is getting through the second floor. Alright, so let's see how Mal handles it. Oh man, okay. That is a tough little area right there, trying to get over that last fireball. Unfortunately, uh, Late Learner only sees money guys. Alright, so Late Learner getting through that last room there, he'll have to kill these... these dudes. I'm just gonna call them dudes for now. Yes, so um, the uh, the fireballs are, are completely random. I guess there's more of a chance in hard mode for there to be large fireballs, but uh, small heads can shoot large ones, large heads can shoot small ones. Alright, so Mal gets... Oh no, and he gets hit by the last spiky ball. Unfortunate, man. So Late Runner just going straight in, not getting a power-up. Interesting here. I'm not sure what his plan is. Okay, so he's gonna go... Oh my god, dude. This is spooky. Alright, so he makes it through that fight. That's good. He can get the power-up here, and he's in good shape for him. Wario 3. Alright, so one hit, two hits, and number three, Late Runner is done. Fourth place with a time of 48-16 GG. And we will wrap this up by watching Mal finish up the castle. So uh, he does have a few things that can still be kind of tough. Uh, we'll see how those pan out for him. Alright, so these platforms are no joke. Um, the randomized platforms can be kind of tough to mess around with. Especially since when you're running any percent, you're kind of used to just falling. Uh, you can kind of just walk off those platforms. So uh, you need to get used to jumping in that room. Um, but he gets through them, no issue. Uh, we'll be happy. We'll have to be careful with these faces. Alright, so get through the first room. And these things look criminal. Oh, and he gets a- that's awesome, dude. I didn't even realize his count. He actually gets a, um, a star there, which is awesome. It makes the second and third rooms really simple, and goes, just goes straight to the boss. Alright, this is a bit unfortunate. This fight is actually kind of tough if you, um, don't hit Wario right away. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. 
perfect. So he gets through that. Uh, no issues. I think he's gonna grab the power up. Yeah, he is. Okay. Alright, so Wario 2. Uh, he should be in good shape here. Don't run into too many issues. Yeah, he can just stay on top of the statue. Kill Wario 2. And for 3, he has a lot of room for error, so no big deal. Alright, that is one, two, and three. So Mal finishes an official SRL time of 50.43 GG to all of our runners. And thank you so much for watching and everyone participated. Uh, that was that was pretty awesome. Pretty pretty great to see both an easy and hard randomizer. Pretty great to see all the runners finish uh, in a time that is much faster than anything I can. And I, I do appreciate all the runners uh, participating. Um, for anyone who is interested in uh, running this, please make sure to check out the Discord. Um, we're always there to help, no matter what kind of issue you have. Um, so, you know, once again, thanks a lot to Rave, thanks to Mal, thanks to Beast, thanks to Late Learner, thanks to Deer. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I believe Final Fantasy 1 is going to be coming up next, so uh, stick around. Uh, see you guys later.